How could it be what Father God? I have a visa, you know, I have a passport left for me get. Yeah! Bombo clot, you know, we are not fresh. Now, Vivo, why you not congratulate the man in the comment section? The man finally getting visa. The only thing the man really need right now is just his passport. And you know, so when I see the video, I say, hit man up and running. Then I see the man say, I need a passport. And I say, judge. <laughs> Jamaicans. Anyhow, people, speaking about passport, though, there is a viral video circulating the internet with some tourists here in Jamaica. And no, they are not at a resort. They are actually in the ghetto. The man, them a wall up plaque yard and a protest because of the lack of water people take a look at this water we want water we want water we want road we want water we want road we want water we want road well people i guess they wanted the full jamaican experience right now the man them could have there and them white drum a bun of weed and i said blood Claude Babylon, Jano. <laughs> Anyhow, people, speaking about Babylon and the Babylon system, there is a video circulating the internet with a police officer actually a video to soldier because the police them stop the soldier and the soldier think them they're above the law. Or I don't know, people, I don't know who is in the wrong, I don't know how it go with soldier and police to government entity. So, watch the video and tell me who you think is in the wrong. Take a look at this. Did the officer stop it on the road? Yeah. Okay, okay. Did the officer stop it on the road? No, you have to take it if you can't take it away. No, you have to just come take my phone out of my hand. I said, did the officer stop it on the road? Mm -hmm. eh? Did the officer did the officer stop it on the road? Eh? Did the officer stop it on the road? Eh? Eh? And that's if you answer me. Eh? Since you want to be treated like criminals. Eh? We don't have no uniform. We don't have no uniform. Police step out in the road and stop you. I want to drive left them. And then the and next set of police stop and you drive left them. Eh? 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 You should be ashamed of yourself. Eh? And the government uniform. Eh? In a government uniform, police stop you. Eh? Where are you? Talk now, where are you? Let me get you up on the camera. Talk, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And people, I am still confused when it comes down to two government entities, police and soldiers. So anyone who knows the legality behind this or the correct procedure that should apply, let us know in the comment section. Anyhow, what is up? What go on with and with family? Hope each and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, no long intro, make we kick the video off like this. Cartel, there is no way you will get free after this case. You now get free after this case. This is how I tell you now. You, now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to emphasize it so you understand, so you can't beat this case. Mmm. It go a privy council, you know. But you never win a privy council. At that foot I talk now. But I'm going to talk it lean. You never win cartel. What you achieve and accomplish is a deal. And you need, you need now to start contemplate how you're going to cut this deal. Because you have to cut a deal. There's no other way out. One, this hype about money, you don't have no money to fight the system. You don't. Remember say, the system make money. You have to work for money. Yeah, so you, you, you and the system, then are they, don't put yourself in front of yourself and fool yourself. You don't have no money to fight the system. Yeah? Now, the only way out cartel, one, how long you that prison now? 11 years. What have you done? Within the 11 year in prison. You know, accept no responsibility, no. 
you after you say you mince up lizard fine 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 and him disappear you don't accept that a crime did commit you don't so it's innocent you cry the court already find you guilty the error is that the court didn't go about it right so don't get this thing twisted you're still a prisoner for you the only way out now yeah the only win for you right now is when the court come back to you now because they're gonna re they're gonna retry you yeah what do you think the privy council never released you the privy the privy council have no power for release you the privy council remind you back to the court for the court to correct their wrongs and how they're gonna correct the wrongs lizard still dead the only way out cartel yeah is one you will have to accept a plea deal and that and that entail a guilty plea you will have to accept a guilty plea. You can't walk free. You can't walk out of prison. Not guilty. The ball game not played away there. Now, people, again, our next video circulates in the internet with somebody giving their opinion on Vibes Cartel case. And, people, yes, I see the video. It's trending. So, I decided to share it with you. But, quite frankly, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of tired of this Vibes Cartel. Everybody have something to say about Vibes Cartel and Vibes Cartel case. People, even Vibes Cartel himself, tired. Vibes Cartel recently put out a message on his Instagram um, story where he stated that anybody has a message to Vibes Cartel, figure, S out the mother and the end of message that's what vibes cartel actually put out so vibes cartel not really business when nobody have to say because i guess everybody know people i don't know what will happen in vibes cartel case i am not a liar oh boy just hope the, the best for the entertainer more all of the gaza fans them say free world boss in the comment section and we go go one side while nasty spice them. We only want pretense to them a good mother with feed them pitney them. While few we pitney them practice the blood clot or shake batty in a bumble clot taboo. I want to you. You know how much years me I tell all the one spice in a background. What do you miss her up a shaggy thing? And I try to heal her the face so she give me in her darkness. She couldn't even come out of her darkness to come heal me. I'm still a try to reach out to her as a black woman, as a black sister, where she say, I that she you. Forget which part. You know, they're not real king. They're not a real queen. They're not dance all spice. Move and go away with your Eden, man. Well, people, there you have it. Queen Africa again, very outspoken. And people, you get it? Queen Africa say, Spice is not no queen of dance hall. She fi move and go. But me da you think and I say, Queen Africa ni Queen Africa. And then Spice is the queen of dance hall. I wonder if Queen Africa say, ah, she should have be the queen. People, you know what? You don't mix me. Well, what Queen Africa is stating is that Spice only want the best for her kids while teaching other people. Pitney. Oh, for shit, bam, bam, and work, a taboo, and them thing there. So, people, share your thoughts in the comment section. Well, people, as you know it, Jamaican politics is very festive at this moment with the past local government election and the big brawl that actually happened with it being a very close election. Now, both parties, both the opposition and the present leading party are at it in parliament. As you can see, just recently, the prime minister walked out while the opposition leader was doing his presentation. Then again, people, the prime minister actually posted this on his official Instagram page. People, take a look at this. Taxes being collected from the Jamaican people have increased dramatically under this government. A much bigger carving of the national pie is now being paid by the Jamaican people in tax. Outright lie. Outright lie. It is a puzzle to the opposition. Our government can eliminate some taxes completely relieve a significant number of persons from paying taxes reduce the tax rate itself 
and still have more revenue, have more tax revenue collected. It's, it's a mystery to them, Madam Speaker, a mystery. They, mystery. they, they don't understand it. They don't understand it. <laughs> they have now resorted to spreading an outright lie. Outright lie. The government has increased taxes in order to explain what they don't understand. Yes or are too ashamed to admit that their government has never been able to do this. They cannot admit that more Jamaicans are employed now than at any other time in the country's history. So more Jamaicans have income and purchasing power. The new hotels, the new BPOs, the new real estate projects being constructed, the new small businesses that have opened up, all have been contributing to the tax revenue. Base levels have increased and more persons are seeing the benefit of joining the formal economy yes, by being compliant and contributing to the tax pool. The government, in turn, takes these tax revenues and returns it to the citizens in ways that increase the quality of life. I can understand why the opposition would continue to lie about taxes. They have never been in the position, they don't know how to, to get to this position of financing their budget mainly from tax revenues without borrowing or putting on new taxes. They, they have no clue. And they, this is why we say that it is always better for the Jamaica Labour Party to manage the economy. And also, people, check this out. Young dance and artist Pablo YG is getting a lot of backlash on social media for a recent song he did where a specific line in the song he stated that if a boy step on my clocks, I stab him up now. Now, a lot of persons out there are stating that is not a good line and that them now want the youth them to listen to that because, you know, with so much violence in school and, you know, the young youths, they gravitate to music, especially Pablo YG is a very young artist and his appeal is to a younger audience now people with the lyrics like that if a boy step on my clocks i you know the school you them love them clocks can you imagine now me i listen to that song now me step in a school and a boy step on my clocks what me i gonna do now people do share your thoughts in the comment section a boy step on my clocks i'm gonna tap him up now oh him like a friend them does a body mouth and that you really say boy you see, oh, me see them a bash Jaden when he put up a 12 year old and same waller and turner. So, Jaden, you're wrong for bum buck like that. 100% wrong for that. But, Pablo YG, brother, you see, in our wedding year and last year, we're going to so much bum buck like school pit near tab up each other over one clocks, brother. And you're gonna sing, bo, boy, I step on my clocks, me just tab him up. So, you come like, you know, look a boy in a bumbo clot brain, you know. And somehow, you know, look a blood clot producer. Somehow, you know, if you go, you know. Somehow, you know, if you go, you know. Because, you know, know how them school people you know, react to them celebrity in a dance hall. And, and you gonna make song, bo, boy, I step on my clocks, just tab him up. So, I know, say, you know, most viewers. On social media as cool pitney, eh? And you gonna make a song like this, ah? Uh, all uno bumbo clad people we are watch TikTok and 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 and, and, and uh, into music. Uno, a uh, uno a bumbo clad problem. I think I artist them. A uh, uno a blood clad problem because you say if you did that, say no to them bumbo clad type of idiot song and them bad behaving song, ya, eh? Uno a influencers, uno a use uno powers carefully. But the bum buckler, you can't, you can't sing about if boy tap on my clocks, you just tap him up. So I know, say, who the most viewers and the most fans, them are school pitney and them take them celebrity artists, them serious when them sing them song. Yeah. Hmm? And, and me tell you, say, yo, you don't know what you're doing, and you don't know, know help fuck up your early, you know, and I mash up the music industry, you know. You hear me tell you, no? Know? I can't believe say, you go sing a song like that. Hmm? See him like how Jaden get bass sweet 12 year old and put up and say ton or so. I see him where people them come out and a bumbo clad bash them song. Hey yo, you see Bunty Killer? Bunty Killer, my artist and bumbo clad dear one. You understand? 
Bonti killer and my artist and bumbo clad day one Cause you see Bonti killer them man ya Them no put up to blood clad fuckery You understand? So you see how one time I make all them video ya And the music society are a gay bumbo clad keeper As one of wife and no one let me in you know One can blood clad lock the gate all the while And stay with that pussy clad there yeah? here Because my talent and my talent and one can take it You understand? And me still a live and me happy And me a survive and me good you understand me just love music with a passion but you see you them we make it out there in the blood clot music industry we want to have all of them people as you know, fans and follow you know. we want to try to put out some good contents you yeah, hear me? Pablo YG I fuck with song you just sing it's a set up song you just sing a suicidal song it come like you want to sacrifice some people you know you are your management team. Why you gonna sing a song like if a boy tap on me clocks, me just stab him up now? Eh? How you feel do that? How you feel sing a bumbo clock song like that, boy? I don't know, say, who the most viewers and fans them at school bumbo clock picnic. The youths of tomorrow. And a demi sang ya una put out and no. What happened with clocks in a them school ya yeah, over the past fucking years? And you go bumbo class sing that. Hey, you see all you look a bumbo class producer boy, we sit down an uh, engineer, we make him advice all them saga. Sometimes you know, sometimes we you know if you blame all the artists them right you know. Sometimes a uno bumbo class engineer. I influence them to put certain things in them blood clots and come your artist I me mean, you know. Sometimes a man them come there with them sound good good and come like a uno blood clot construct you and write it. You know and tell them what leaks to put in there and what kind of leaks and how if it bumbo clot sound. And when them do it for no way, when the man them go up on blood clot stage, they can't ever sing it away because that's not them naturality. Man uno cut out on the fuck dog. Now people check this out, there is a video circulating the internet with Kemar McGregor stating that Queen Ifrika tried to sacrifice him and he is, uh, you know, warning Queen Ifrika to leave him alone stating that on multiple occasions Queen Ifrika tell him to go S out him mother. Now people, I was trying to find out if Kemar McGregor was related to Freddie McGregor people, I did not get that information but if you know, state it in the comment section. Anyhow people, take a look at this. Yeah, so... This, this video is for Queen Africa. Ewa, Queen Africa. I don't know what is your problem, Queen Africa. Last month, you you come on my page and you write a comment say me fuck suck out my mother right no you do a video last night or or whenever again and in the video you are chastising the spies and all of them but then you bring up my name again and I tell me Kemar Margaga for go suck out my mother. Queen Africa, what me do you? Me not do you nothing, Queen Africa. Why you keep on disrespecting me and telling me to suck my mother? Here, Queen Africa. Remember, say you try to sacrifice me and it not work, you know. Because here, why me say that? Me give you its song. You not tell me thanks when I hear from you. The only time I hear your voice again is when another artist call me when we meet in an accident and say, Come on, don't say nothing. Listen what Queen I freak out say. And this is when I this is what I hear you said. Him should have crash and broke him neck. This is me, me, Kemar McGregor, who just give you an it song. We co we co wrote that song together. I help arrange a song. I never said that the song was written by Kemar McGregor only. 
It's a collective effort with both of us. Both of us come together and put a record together. And watch it. You try to sacrifice me for the record. You know my workout. When the artist called me, I said, listen, come here. Don't say nothing. This is what me hear say, Queen of Africa. Kemar should have crashed and broke him neck. After me just spent over 8 to 10 million Jamaican dollars shooting video for that they don't touch me there. Spend so much money on marketing and promotion. And these are the tanks. <laughs> He's a hypocrite. But here we are. Me now I go tell you. For the suck back your mother. And me now I go fight with the Queen of Africa. Make her hear Time is a master. Fate everything. There's too much violence and crime out there. And too much negative energy online. And I'm not up for that right now. I said my piece. About everyone. That speak bad against Kemar McGregor. I may move on from that. And I'm going to tell you, you need to stop calling me name. You need to stop telling me, go suck my mother, because me not tell you go suck your mother. Because me don't know if you come from a human being or an animal. So, Queen of Riga, please, leave me alone. If you need help, you just need to call some the Jamaican authorities or the hospital or something if you need help. But please get off my name, please. I don't have time for you. And I wish you all the best. And I hope you get help and recover soon. All right? Peace.